Hi, this is Cher from Cher's Crafting Boutique. In my last video, I was showing you how I did the front and back pages and the spine of this book. So, I'm now on to the second page. And for this, I have some more netting. I have my gathered lace some appliques and some lilac lace there. I also have this flower that I've made. I have some trims in different shades. Two white ones, which this one is one you've seen me loads, but in the more cream colour, but this one's white. It's one of my favourites and I've got a cream one here and another white one just in case. I also have some paper roses that you've seen me use lords. I've got some crochet, some more lilac lace. Two different scissors here, because this one's for the fabric and this one just for paper or anything that I need to do with small bits. Some pearls, two stick pins that I've made earlier on, some wet glue which is a crafty tack, tacky glue from Hobbycraft. I also have a pencil just in case, some hot glue and a lighter and I think that just about covers it. So first of all, I'm just going to take this and netting, make sure it's round the right way, which it's not. So let's turn it round. This way. I'm just going to lace that over there. And as you can see, it's got this nice little scallop to edge there which I'm going to leave hanging over grab my scissors and just make sure it's that little bit over the edge here because we're going to be tucking it to make it more neater talking about an inch over also on the top do the same thing, make sure there's about an inch gap. So I should have mentioned that I have this. I don't really like the colour of this quilted fabric. So I have this lining. This came off the back of an old set of curtains. And I'm going to be putting this on here. If you're using a colour you like, you don't need to do this. It's just something I prefer to do. So I'm going to do that first. my hot glue, run it along the edge here, and then just fold it slightly in on itself and secure that down. constantly keep doing that all the way around so we're just folding it in making sure you don't pull it down too far because the top might not have enough when you get to it otherwise so run some glue along that edge there thank you for refilling it there for me 
and then just run it through the middle, just a thin amount. short on this side I think but that's okay it doesn't matter it still can be topped and put just as nicely Just here, I'm just going to cut that little bit there to give me the leaf where I need to tuck that under. I'm going to do the same here. It under and glue that down. And there we are, fully lined. Now, the next piece I'm going to do is grab some of this when I finally end. There we are. And I'm going to start in the middle here and go all the way around this edge. But what? No, I ain't. Because I'm not going to do the bottom. I am just going to do around the sides. So I'm going to start here. So we're not doing the bottom of this. Just going all the way around the side. And remember to pinch those corners so that it lies flat. Running a small amount of glue, you don't need a lot for this. All the way on. Don't know if I'm going out of view here, but I'll turn around in just a minute. Bring it closer to you. There we are. All the way to the end. And then just snip that off there. to here. I'm going to grab this piece of knitting that we cut earlier on. Just lace that over there. Now to start with, I'm going to glue the centre here. Again, 
you do not need a lot. I'm going to grab this ink protector here because this is where you really do end up burning yourself if you're not careful. Just in that really thin amount of glue just right down the centre there. And this is where we start folding it on itself. So it gives it a nice neater edge. So again, a thin amount of glue. Let's just stick that down there. Cut down here. And then just tuck it under. Just grab my coffee. Right. Just tuck this under again. bottom and just tuck that in on itself as well. Mist a piece up here. There we are. So that's the page completely lined out. And now we are going to decorate it. So as I said this I'm gonna put that there I think turn it slightly let's have a little look have this scrap piece in I'm thinking about making a pocket a scrap piece just gonna fold it in half there and in half again I think Let's see yeah I'm gonna run a little bit of glue down this edge here Pull that down, fold this over here, and secure that as well. And then run a little bit along here. Fold that in on itself as well. And make sure we get all these bits because we don't want it to get in the way when we go to use it. So I'm just going to stick that there. So I'm just going to run some hot glue down that edge there. Stick that down. Do the same along the bottom, making sure you leave the top bit open. Get some more glue there. Secure that down. And 
I'm not sure we've got everywhere. And that becomes a nice little pocket to store scissors or anything like that. I'm going to secure this here because I like the way that looks. I'm just going to put some hot glue on there. This little flower then I'm going to stick on the front of this pocket just so it don't blend too much make sure as I do it I pop that f squeeze it between the two because I don't want it to stick together onto the page itself there we go And I'm going to pop this just where it is. Tuck that under on its surface there. Pour on a little glue. If you don't have one of these protective fingers, use maybe use one of those rubber spatulas. I've seen people use them a lot. It helps on the fact of not burning yourself. too much glue on because you'll be able to see it through all this lace. I'm just tucking it in on itself again around a thin amount of glue and secure that down. And then pop this flower on here. Now, I don't want to do too much on here because you never know later on if you want to add something or if you give it to someone as a gift they may want to add something. So I like the minimal look. Now, my two stick pins I had at the ready, I think would go well, just in here. Make sure they haven't gone through the other page. They usually don't, because it's quite thick. Now we're good, we're good. There we are. And that is your first two pages. And I really like the way that's come out. I love the way the colours go together. I actually have a person in mind for this because they love the colour purple. So that's why I chose to do it. Knowing that I'd made this, as I said in the other videos, I thought, well, I've got it. I should use it and then when I started putting it together I was thinking of the perfect person I could give it to so anyway I will be back with my next video for the next centre page oh no no it's not it's the page over that was stuck together so um I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bye